Well, praise the Lord in Jesus' holy and blessed name. What a beautiful day it is to be in Jesus. Oh, amen? Amen. Well, a pleasure to greet you with that familiar greeting. We hope for your familiar greeting. This is Brother Thomas with you here, and this is a ministry of Jesus Christ. And today, brothers and sisters, a uh, few thoughts on submitting to God and resisting the devil. Yes, and we're going to begin in Matthew chapter 4, and it is the temptation of Jesus in the wilderness. Uh, and amen now. Glory be to God. Jesus had been led up into the wilderness. He was there 40 days and 40 nights and was hungered. And then the devil comes to him to tempt him. Oh, yes. Word of prayer before we get started here today. God, our Heavenly Father, you will bless this time. It will be a time of growing and understanding your truth, your power, your way, your glory. Oh, hallelujah. To the power of Almighty God, to your praise. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Now, in the wilderness, the tempter comes to tempt Jesus. And he says, if thou be the son of God, verse three, command these stones be made bread. But he, Jesus answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth. Yes, indeed, and amen. Then the devil takes him up to a pinnacle of a high, shows him all, all this. And he says, if you jump off of here, if you be the son of God, the angels will come and stop you from hitting the ground and hurting yourself, right? Lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And then the third time, the devil shows him all the kingdoms of the earth and says to him, If you but bow down and worship me, I'll give all this to you. Then saith Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Hallelujah now. In the first temptation is turned stones to bread. Jesus was hungry. The devil knew that this might be one way to get at his hungry belly. But the temptation to turn stones to bread, if you be the son of God. And here we go again, just as in the garden with Eve. Hath God not said, if you be the son of God. Satan knows he's the son of God. So if you be the son of God, turn these Stones to bread and eat. Why are you hung 40 days in the world? Just turn some stones to bread. Come on. No big deal. Jesus says, Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Now, in this case, the hungry belly was not enough. caused Jesus to surrender the will of God and the plan and all it was for simple bread. And Jesus knows that the Lord, he'll eat when the time is right for him to eat. But in the meantime, he has something bigger to do here. And 
bread. And the irony of this is that in not too many days and months down the road, Jesus will feed thousands with a handful of fish and a few loaves of bread. And when they're done, they'll have more left over than they had when they begun. But then it was done by the will of God in right order and time. Jesus didn't take matters into his own hands and disregard what God's plan was just because he was hungry. Well, amen now. Stay in the will of God. The second of the temptations, of course, is the... <laughs> if you jump off this building, God will protect you. It'll be fine. The angels will catch you and keep you from hurting yourself. If you be the Son of God, but well, he is the Son of God. And he knows this too. We don't tempt the Lord our God. We don't purposely jump off the building because God will save me. We don't purposely drink poison because we know that if we drink any deadly thing, it will not harm us. We don't purposely do that. We don't tempt God. But had he fallen off the building and been pushed by no choice of his own, oh yes, the angels would have protected him and kept him from dashing his foot even upon the stone. And the third, I'll give you all this. I'll give you all this. All the gold, all the silver, all the, the fame, the fortune. All this, if you'll but bow down and worship me. Get thee hence, Satan. Get thee hence, Satan. For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Oh, glory be to God. Powerful truth. Don't let any of this out here take away. For when we, what are we fixing our eyes upon? Oh, glory, glory, glory be to God. Fix your eyes upon God, upon Jesus, the things of God, and not the things of this world. For they are temporal. This, this is all temporal. But rather, on the eternal, the glorious grace and truth of God, his eternal glory. Yes, oh, praise God, yes. And then the devil will leave. <laughs> yes, that's the beautiful part of that part of that. <laughs> and the devil leaves and the angels come and minister unto him, for sure. What is really taking place here is God's will and Jesus submitting to the will of the Father. Submitting to the will of the Father. Not what sounds good to you or to me. But to the will of the Father. Mm -hmm. Submitting to God. In James chapter 4, <laughs> In verse 7, we read this. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. We have just read it in Matthew. James is right on the money here with this one. Submit yourselves to God. Jesus was submitting himself to God, the Father. And he certainly resists the devil. And the devil leads. When we submit ourselves to God, some of the, how do you resist the devil? Submit yourself to God. And he will flee, the devil that is. In the case of Jesus, he leaves. When we submit ourselves to God, resisting the devil, 
in our submission to God, he will even flee. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 27. <clears throat> Neither give place to the devil. Neither give place to the devil. Don't even give him an inch. Don't open the door. Don't crack the door. Don't give him an inch. Submit to God and resist the devil by submitting to God. No open doors, no open windows, no opportunities. Resist the devil. And he will flee. 1 Peter, real quick, I almost got it. <laughs> Starting in verse 6 here, actually. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. If he be the Son of God, turn his best to stone. If you jump off this building, it's okay. God will protect you. Worship me, and I'll give you all this. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Hallelujah. There's the, the kicker to it. There's no com temptation that is not common to us. We all face this, and the answer is the same. Submit to God. Therefore, resist the devil. The devil must flee. And a glorious moment there is between God and you in this moment when you do these. One hallelujah. When you submit yourself under the mighty hand of God. It's a glorious truth and a life filled with the very power and might and glory and praise of Almighty God. So today, resist, submit, resist. Oh, hallelujah. Gloriously true. And how did Jesus do that, by the way? It is written. He quotes scripture. It is written. The word of God is the answer. When Eve, the Satan, the serpent comes to Eve, hath not God said? Misquote. Stay in the word of God. Quote the word of God. Use the word of God. The word of God is the answer to these things. Well, on today, brothers and sisters, submit yourselves to God. Trust the Lord. Believe. And the devil will leave. And God cares for you. His ministering angels will care for you when the battle is done and God is gloriously victorious. <laughs> amen. One amen. In the glory of God, praise God in Jesus' holy and blessed name. Today, trust the Lord. Know that he is righteous and true. Every promise, sure. 
but God cares for you. Submit yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God. And today, if you don't know the Lord, the Lord Jesus, if you've not been, today is the day. Today is a good day to do so. For he is the Son of God. For he is our Savior, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Today you can know. As a sinner, lost and separated from God, you're under the control of your father, the devil. There's no resisting him. You're submitted to him. No Jesus, submitted to the devil. Today, you can break that submission. Say yes to Jesus. He who has overcome the devil, overcome the world, and the victory is secure. For he came, bled and died upon the cross. For while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us, that we might live. He was buried and rose the third day and has ascended to the right hand of the Father. Where he now mediates on our behalf. And today it can be mediating on your behalf. Be filled with his spirit today. Say yes to Jesus. Repent of your sin. Ask Jesus in. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In Jesus' holy and blessed name. Praise the Lord. Submit to God. And see the salvation of God revealed in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.